All right, guys, how's it going? I've just bought Elite Dangerous. I bought it a few days ago, actually, uh, but it feels like I just bought it because I'm still a complete noob at the game. It's a pretty difficult game. There's a lot, lot of commands, a lot of controls in it. Most people are saying, you know, this is not an easy game. And they're right, it's not an easy game. Uh, one of the reasons it's not easy is, well, the main reason is the sheer volume of controls, the sheer amount of controls there are. I mean, you've got, you know, you've got yaw, you've got roll, you've got flight thrust, you've got flight throttle and all this. And, I mean, there are hundreds of commands, it feels like. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is actually show you how to, you know, set it up. First of all, just to set up enough commands, enough controls to get yourself through stage one, uh, the pilot's license docking. It's a lot less than you actually think. Uh, and I'm going to do it in a way to make it as simple as possible. Basically starting off with, go into options and controls. I'm going to start with a completely blank slate. So I'm going to select the empty preset so they've got no controls whatsoever. Now I'm going to skip your left and your right currently until I get out of the station. So the first, the most important thing is, you know, getting out of the station and that's going to let you fly around. A lot of people are struggling even with that, you know, just getting out of the station. So I'm going to start right from the very beginning. And what I will do is this yaw into roll thing, you can click that to off on the way down. We're heading all the way down to flight thrust. Now, I'm going to use the keypad for this on the keyboard. You can use whatever you like, but I would recommend that when it comes to thrust, this is what you're going to be using for landing. This is Flight thrust is the easiest thing for landing and, and taking off, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, now, I'm no expert in the game, but I've certainly found that this to be the case. So, I'm going to use a keypad uh, on the keyboard, and I really do recommend you do it, even if you're using a joystick and you've got all the flight controls and stuff, use the keypad on, on your keyboard for this, because you're only going to use it while you're landing anyway. So, thrust left will be... Uh, numpad 4. Thrust right is going to be numpad 6. Up is going to be numpad 8. And down will be numpad 2. Now, you've also got thrust forward and battered. I'm not using those. What I'm actually going to use is the flight throttle instead. So, you've got increased throttle and, de and decreased throttle, which is basically the same as thrust forward and thrust battered. The biggest difference is, thrust forward and backward, well, if you take your finger off it, it will go back to zero. So your, your ship will come to halt. Increasing and decreasing the throttle means you move at a, a steady pace. Yeah. So I'm going to use increased throttle and put that to the plus key on the numpad. And decreased throttle is going to be the minus key on the numpad. Right. Now, because of this... Because we don't stop uh, when we, we stop like thrusting forward, because it no longer goes back to zero speed... It's very important to scroll down again until you get to set speed to 0%. This is like your panic button, yeah? So I'm going to make that numpad 0. Now if you think you're going too fast, just hit 0 on the numpad and you will eventually, quite quickly, come to a full stop. Right, that's basically the 6 controls that you need. Is that 6? Six? Seven. 7. 6 or 7 controls that you need in order to get out of the station in one piece. What you also have to do though... Uh, Scroll all the way down, all the way down, until we get to the interface mode. Now, you've actually got to set up your interface keys. Remember, I've started with a blank slate here. I started with the empty preset. So, uh, I'm just going to set these to what they are actually set at normally on the keyboard. So, UI panel up is W, down is S, left is A, right is D, select the space bar. Next panel tab is going to be E, and previous is Q. Now this just lets me navigate the in-game menus and, and lets me actually take off. Right, so hit apply, back to main menu, tutorials, and stage one docking. Now, the most important thing to read here is the orange writing at the bottom. Keep your head and you'll do just fine. Remember, you've got your panic button, your zero, uh, your numpad zero. If you think you're going too fast, just press that and you're going to stop. You, you will eventually come to a stop. You shouldn't hit anything. Everything should be absolutely fine. So we're using thrusters only. Thrusters sort of make you hover on the spot. Or hover to the left and hover to the right, hover up and hover down. But you don't move forward or backward. So, you, you know, really the chances of you crashing into anything are very limited. Right, first things first, we'll use S twice. Spacebar to launch. Now, 
and make the little bit loud. Right, so. Five minutes to leave the station. Now remember, eight was thrust upward, four is thrust left, six is thrust right, two is thrust down. So obviously I want to thrust upward. So I'm going to hold down eight, just a little bit. And there you go, I'm thrusting upward. I take my finger off it. Goes back to zero. I'm hovering above the landing pad. You know, I'm not moving anywhere else. I'm just hovering there. There's no danger of hitting anything. Now, if I thrust to the left using the four, you know, what a surprise, I go left. Six puts me to the right. You know, so this is just helping me to, you know, if I was off center in one of the docking stations, if I was off center, then this helps me, you know, to get back on, and onto the center. Now, I'm a little bit low down, so I'm going to thrust upwards again with 8. Now, clearly, this is not the optimal way of getting out, as I, I should be, you know, not trying to get out the, the door while it's vertical. I should go out horizontally. However, I don't actually have any way to move, to turn myself around. So, I'm actually just going to show you how you can actually get out of here horizontally, well, the, the door is vertical anyway. Now, if you remember, plus and minus, plus was throttle. And you can see my throttle is going forward. I'm at 32. I'm just going to stay in the blue zone. Now, I'm going to throttle backwards. And it does exactly what you'd expect it to do. Now, if I press the zero key, my oh no key, I come to a full stop. Still hovering, no danger of hitting anything at all. Let's move it a little bit more central. I'm moving up. Right, so I'm just going to open my throttle and fly out. If I think I'm too close to either side, I'll just be a slight nudge on my 6 key to move to the right, slight nudge on the 4 key to move to the left. Take your time. You're thinking, I'm never going to make this, but yeah, I'm going to make this. I won't hit anything. It's going to be tight. Oh, it's going to be tight, but absolutely fine. Now it starts spinning, so you need to keep nudging 6 on the way out. Which I just did. I could have made it easy had I just gone a little bit faster. Yeah, but that's just to show you how few keys, you, how, how few like uh, controls you actually need to use in order to get out. It's not optimal, but you know if you're really struggling to get out of it, just use those six, seven keys. Remember, you've got your zero for full stop. You're going to be absolutely fine. Now. The message says, you know, well done, you've made it, now you've got to get back into the station. Now the problem with using thrust left and right up and down is, you've got no actual way to turn around. I'm basically stuck facing forward, I could reverse, yeah, so I could reverse back in, but I don't know where I'm going, I don't know if I'm going to hit it or not, so that would be just stupid, suicidal. Um, so what I'm actually going to do next is, back into the options, and controls again, we're going to find some controls. now. Flight rotation, near the top, your left, I'm going to set that to Q, and I'm going to set your right to E. Now, you could use left and right on your joystick or your mouse, whatever. Now, if you want to use your mouse, you can do that up here. You can set it to your, or row. Right? But I'm just going to use your left and your right just to show you how simple it is to actually get back in. So, right, I'll move a little bit forward. I don't want to be too close to the station, so I'm going to move a little bit further forward. And I'll press zero again to come to a full stop. Now, your is basically, while you're stopped, your will simply, the Q and D keys, your me to the left, your me to the right. There's a planet. I'm basically rotating on the spot. This is what your will do. It's very slow movement, uh, but it will basically rotate you. Full 360 degrees on the spot until you're facing directly, you know, towards the entrance again. And there you go, there is the station. Now, I could get in again using the exact same keys as before 8, 4, and 2 on the numpad, and my open and closing the throttle. But it's not ideal because the station is actually rotating. Yeah, and the last thing you want is, you know, to rotate into a wall or something. Well, well, knock into a wall while the station's rotating. So we're going to go back into the options again. 
back to controls and what we're looking for now is roll. Now if you're using the mouse you can also set, like I said before, you can set your mouse to roll. I'm going. I'm still going to stick with the keyboard right now. There's roll left, I'm going to use A for that. I'm going to use roll right for D. And while I'm here, I'm going to go pitch up as S and pitch up, pitch down, sorry, as W and apply that. Right, now, what does roll left do? A key. That's what roll left does. Pretty simple. This lets me rotate. I, f I can move slowly and rotate now at the same speed as the station rotates. So there's no chance of me hitting the wall, hitting into the door as it, as it rotates. Yeah, I can keep it, I can keep it almost directly horizontal just by constantly hitting the A key. Now D obviously spins it around faster. Now the other two that I changed there were pitch up and pitch down. So pitch up is my S key. And this is what you use to do a full sort of flip around. Now as you see it's turning quite slow but I'll, I'll talk about that in another video. It's turning quite slow just now. But I've done a, basically a 360 in this direction now. And the station is about to come right back into view. That's all that does. Uh, w puts me down the way. Now if you prefer to use W for up and S for down, that's absolutely fine. You know, that's, that's up to you. Or pull up in the joystick to move up, pull down to move down. You know, if that's what suits you, then go ahead. This is a sort of classic flight sim mode where, you know, you push down to... Uh, so you push, you press up to move down, and you press down to move up. That's just the way I prefer it. But you go with you know, whatever you fancy. Right. So now we've got more than enough in terms of uh, keys and and controls in order to get back in here. The one thing we are missing, however, is the ability to request docking. So yeah, we're back into the options again. Set controls, and we need to scroll all the way down until we find. Where are you? All the way down again. Right, so target panel. And we'll make that one. While we're at it, we might as well just make the systems panel two. Right, so apply. That's one and two in the keyboard. If you've got uh, buttons you prefer to use, again, you go ahead and use those. Right, so when I press one now, it brings up the, the targets panel. I think this should be called the navigation panel because that's the first thing you see and I believe that this is a better name for it. But anyway, it's called the targets panel. Um, I can use W and S to look up and down. The galaxy map and system map aren't available right now, so you can ignore that. E moves you right across the tabs, Q, left. What we need to do is move right twice to contacts. Press spacebar at training station. Press S to move down to request docking and spacebar. Request granted. Right, request has been granted. I now press 1 again to get back to the main screen. Now if I press 2, I can see my system screen. But I'm not going to bother with that just now. I've requested uh, docking. You can see down at the bottom right my landing gear is still down. I never bother taking that up because there's no point in doing that for the purpose of this tutorial. Right, so my landing gear is still down. Uh, I've got 10 minutes to land. And that's what I'm going to try and do. Right, so, first thing we need to do is throttle up a little bit. The blue is at the zone where I, that it prefers, you know, so this is a good speed for you to come in at. So let, let's just go around about the blue speed, around about the middle of the blue. Now you see I'm constantly correcting. I can use 4 and 6 on the keypad as well, my thrust left and right if I want, or I can use Q and D to yaw. Yaw's a bigger movement. Now at this stage, yaw certainly seems a lot easier to use. Yeah, so I'm A and D, to, to A's rotate left, uh, sorry, yeah, rotate left and right. So I'm coming in, I'm using pitch up and down, W and S, constantly hitting the A key just to keep it straight. I'm a little bit, yeah, I need to come a little bit more centre, so that was the 4 key. You can see landing pad 31 away in the distance. Now, I'm just going to roll again using A. Nice and simple, taking it nice and slowly. But it's still within speed, it still says, you know, I'm still in the blue speed, so this is, don't you know, be scared about going this slow when you come in. 
I'm a little bit high. Yeah, as you can see, I'm a little bit high up, but that's fine. Just keep slowly forward. If you start to panic, start thinking, oh, this is, you know, it's too fast, you can always just hit the zero key, remember, and you'll come to a complete stop. Yeah, you can always move down using two. Well, you're using your thrusters when you, when you come into land, remember, so it's just the exact same as taking off. Eight, back up the way. Yeah. Two down. Four moves me to the left. Six moves me to the right. Yeah. So we're going to creep forward again using the thrusters, sorry, using uh, the throttle. So open the throttle up to the blue again. And just as when you think you're just about over, right directly over the number, what I do is, I'll straighten up a little bit. What I do is get ready to press zero just as you're coming over the number. About now. Now, that, I stopped a little bit too fast, yeah? I, and you'll soon see that, right? So I'm going to use two in the numpad. I'm going to thr uh, thrust downward on the pad. And you'll see that I've just missed my landing spot by a little bit. I'm a little bit too, too early. There you go. Now, I'm down to the bottom left of it. I want to hit the center, the, the, the red circle. So all I simply do here is six. Oh, I can thrust to the right. You see the blue line, turn, the line's turned blue now, the vertical line. I just need to hit plus on my keypad again. Just to, you know, get, open the throttle a tiny little bit to creep forward. Get ready with my zero full stop again. Now. Oh, just a little bit fast again, so I'll creep forward. There you go. It's gone full, fully blue. As long as you press zero to come to a full stop. Now that I know that I'm right over my, my landing spot, I just use my thrust down key, which is two, on the keypad. There you go. Four minutes to land out of ten. That's how easy it is. Mission accomplished. You only need about four or five keys in reality to, to do that. Uh, that's about as easy as I, I believe that you can you can take off and land without causing yourself any any problems. Stick with that for a little while. As you play the game more and more, you'll be able to use like, you know your other controls. You'll be using yaw and roll and stuff when you come in, just to make it a little bit faster. But you can always fall back on the thrust keys. Nice and simple, nice and slow. As long as you've got set speed to zero there and you know you know to hit that, if you think you're in a bit of trouble, just hit your set speed to zero, you'll come to a full stop, and then you can use your thrust keys, you're not going to hit anything. Uh, and like it basically said in the orange writing, you know, just keep the head and you'll do absolutely fine. I hope you enjoyed this one, I hope you learned something. Uh, a lot of people would have taken a few hours uh, at this. I know one of my friends took a little bit of a while to get in, in and out and he said that it took him two hours to land. I did it a little bit faster than that, but you know now he's ahead of me doing the missions and stuff, so he's actually picking it up faster than I am. But yeah, I mean that's that's about as easy as I can imagine doing uh, certainly the first mission. We'll see how it goes in the second mission. We'll deal with some other concepts and some more of the flight controls uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.